they are they equally as fun? Or do you have a favorite? Oh, he's not playing favorites. Ah! Nope. Sharing with the rest. Hey nerds, it's Terry. Welcome back to my show. Oh god, dog, did you fart? Don't eat my cables. Don't eat my cables! There are just a few things going on with World of Warcraft and also one with Heroes of the Storm that I'd like to go over. A couple of reminders, a few new things coming in the newest World of Warcraft PTR patch. So other than that, I'm going to uh, put together my favorite bloopers that I can find because there's a sea of videos on my computer and I hope you enjoy. But before I get into that, a few important things to note. The new and improved Blood Elf models will be coming with the next PTR patch, so you'll be able to see it in the beta. Here is what they have so far. There will be tweaks, especially before they go live, and Blizzard wants you to know that in the PTR, they will probably be a little bit buggy. Look at that booty. Also in the next PTR patch, you will be seeing a selfie camera, which helps you frame the perfect shot and take a selfie. There are different lenses you can get for this. And I'm not really sure how this works, but I would like to think that <laughs> it makes it so that you can angle the camera just right. Perhaps when taking a guild picture, that would make me happy, but I feel like it's probably gonna be zoomed in too far for that. A <sighs> girl can dream. Also, Blizzard is adding new heirloom neck items that heal you on use and upgraded turbulent and shared turbulent robes that you can get from doing missions in your garrison, as well as some new video settings. All of these in the next big PTR patch. Link in the description for more information. Yes, he growls and bites his tail. Oh, dog, you're making this real hard. Blizzard posed a question to us about the fish and whether they should auto fillet when we fish them. To me, that's kind of just undoing adding the need to fillet in the game at all. So I thought that was kind of weird. In response to the feedback we gave them when they asked us what we thought, they're going to put an item on the fishing vendor in your garrison that you can purchase that will auto fillet when you apply it to your fishing pole. It doesn't override your baits or your lures or anything like that. Two things that have been added to the PTR in the last patch are the ability to tweet from in-game and the new heirloom collections tab. One thing I haven't been able to find details on is if you'll be able to put the things that you've you can get from your garrison that say they're bind on account. They don't say they're heirlooms and they're not orange or yellow or whatever, beige. So it would be nice if you could put those in there, but I don't think you can. This pretty kitty mount was leaked out on Twitter. A big teaser it says coming soon in the tweet, but uh, nobody has said where, when, how you can get this mount. It is a pretty cool looking armored kitty though. He's different in his own little special way. She, she's purple. Maybe it's a she. I don't know. Are there different colors? We don't know anything. Don't forget the next patch in the World of Warcraft Live Realms bring us Blackrock Foundry, the newest raid. See the previous video linked in the description for the release schedule for the raid. HeroesNexus.com has a load of beta keys for Heroes of the Storm to give away. All you need to do to enter to win your very own Heroes of the Storm beta key is comment in the post linked in the description saying what hero you're most excited to play, what region you're in, and like them on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. Good luck! Guys, that's really, that's really all that's going on, in my opinion, that's worth mentioning. There are a lot of detailed changes that they have made to missions in the beta and things like that. Just different, very detail-oriented things that I couldn't even begin to touch on all of them. But they're small and minute. So I hope that you enjoy the various bloopers I put together for you. I've been wanting to do this for a long time. So here it is. Part three of Lords of War is now available. 
It is the tale of Duraton. Father, Oh. The first event I wanna make sure you guys, the first event that I wanna make sure you guys know about is the 10 year blizzard. La 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 la. If you're having, if you're having trouble getting, if you're having trouble getting geared for heroic five man dungeons, there are many ways that I, if you're having trouble getting gear, just getting bronze and the proving grounds, you can, by just getting bronze and the proving grounds, you can, by just getting, Wowhead's Garrison, Wowhead's, Wowhead's Garrison Guide has had, Wowhead's, Wowhead's Garrison Guide has had some serious updates in the release, in the spirit, you know what? You can get the core how chain. What? The last add-on, the last garrison add-on I want to talk about is the garrison. The last add-on I want to talk about is the garrison mission. The last add-on I want to talk about is the garrison mission manager add-on. That's kind of hard to say. It adds three buttons on. Topics of today include. Boo 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 boo. Topics of today include changes to Death Knights. Dang it. Topics of today include changes to... In honor of the Winter Vale holiday starting yesterday, <clears throat> awesome. Winter Vale and World of Warcraft started yesterday, Tuesday the 16th. The stolen present is one of the many that can be found underneath the tree in Ironforge or in Orgrimmar. Oh, it's Undercity. What? Isn't it? Oh, God. The other new item you can get from the stolen present is the... The other new item you may get from the stolen present is the story... Fuck. I'm pretty sure after this I'm going to go and make sure and pick up all the presents that I can find today underneath the Winter Vale tree because I like to sit on... Oh, okay. This is stupid. Previously, currently it costs $10,000. In a blue post, Blizzard devs were saying that they are pretty sure they're going to change the cost of changing your zone outposts from... Wowhead.com is having a contest until December. Oh. Oh. 18th. You guys, leather workers, get a new mount with Warlords of Draenor. It is. Fedge. The last mount announced this last week is the Iron Hoof Destroyer. He drops from Blackhand in the Mystic Fuck. First off is the Heroes of the Storm beta. You can buy your way in with the Founders Pack for $39.99 and you get three, three, sorry, he's distracting me. As well as scouting missives, which unlock Apexus Crystal missions that reward. Also, scouting missives, which reward an Apexus daily quest, which offers you. I would love to be able to go in with a friend and control the same base. This Tuesday, December, wait a minute, fuck, about. Well, that is my show for today. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your support. Definitely leave me a comment in the comment section letting me know why you liked or disliked this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Come back and see me every Wednesday for news and gaming videos in between. I will be live streaming as I do every Friday night at 740 Pacific time at twitch.tv slash tyranny. So I hope to see you there and I hope you're having fun with whatever games you're into right now. 
Until next time, have a great rest of your day. I'll talk to you soon. Love you all. Bye-bye.